I, I, not not looking forward to it. And jokes on you, I love Veil Throne. I'm not ready, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. <laughs> My August TBR is delightfully short. Small. Whatever. I don't know. Are TBRs short or small? I've never thought about this before. I only have five, five books? I only have five books on my TBR. <laughs> and of those five, actually, four of them are obligations and the fifth one I feel like is an obligation. It's semi-obligation. It's kind of sort of, it's just, I'm making an obligation. Anyway, um, does that mean I'm only gonna read five books in August? No. I am currently working on several vlog projects and I'm excited to make substantial progress on all of them in August, maybe even finish a couple, if not all of them, since I'll have so much free time. And um, I've been doing writing updates for my patrons and I'm excited to actually be able to, you know, <laughs> have something to report in August um, or at the end of August because I have so little on my GBR. So I should be able to make progress on that as well. And then of course, you know, read random things as I am wont to do. Anyway, but I do have five books on my TBR. Um, that are, you know, for sure these. So let's do that. The first book is The Book of Gothel by Mary McMine, McMean, don't know. Um, I'm buddy reading this with Elle and Jessie Mae. Um, we're trying again since 12 Kings um, in Sherakai was kind of a bust, <laughs> kind of terrible. So we're gonna try again, hopefully something that we all like better. This is a new release. It just came out at the end of July, uh, hence why we're reading it now in August. And um, all I know about this is that it is an adult fantasy new release that is a sort of a prequel villain origin story for the witch from Rapunzel, Mother Gothel. Hence the Rapunzel-esque uh, braid on the cover. So hopefully this is good. And if not, well, we will try again. Next is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them. And that is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. This uh, is, I, I, I'm not not looking forward to it. Or may, uh, no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm definitely not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having read it because as I've said before, The Road is a book that I want to have read. Unfortunately, I have not read it yet in my life, so that's still ahead of me. Um, it's not very long. Um, this copy I have is uh, around 300 pages and the font is kind of enormous. So in that sense, it's not a huge commitment to get through it, but everything I know about this is that this is going to be a harrowing 300 pages. The only Cormac McCarthy that I've ever read is Blood Meridian. And I know that this is not going to be Blood Meridian, but nevertheless, I know it's going to be harrowing. So should be a nice dark vlog. Uh, then for our sort of truth read along that I'm hosting with Bethany, we are at Naked Empire. This is the eighth book, eighth month. You know, that's how this is going. Uh, this live show will be on my channel. Um, this is the last book that I ever read in the Sword of Truth series when I was originally reading them. So from here on out, After Naked Empire will be new material to me. And Naked Empire, Bethany's not sure if she's read it. So this might be new material for her. This is the last thing that will be a reread for me. Uh, starting next month, um, it will be new. I remember not really liking this one that much. I didn't hate it, but... Yeah, <laughs> there's a reason I stopped here. Not because I was like, oh, I'm, I'm stopping here. I'll never read this again. I just kind of like lost steam with this one. And this one is pretty long. So, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully I'll like it better the second time. Then my patrons and I are concluding our read along of the Dandelion Dynasty with Speaking Bones by Ken Liu. I am really looking forward to this because everyone told me that I would hate Veiled Throne, the third one, and that I would love this. And jokes on you, I love Veiled Throne. So maybe, uh-oh, maybe that means I'm only hate speaking about because, uh, you know, it's always opposite day with me. But hopefully it means that if Veiled Throne was the bad one, this will really knock my socks off, which is, you know, let's all hope for that collectively. Um, this is definitely my favorite cover in the US editions. Um, I love me a still life of food, so. I mean, it doesn't look appetizing per se, like it looks quite dark. Um, but you know, like having like a, a pomegranate on the cover of a book, that's always a good choice. Then I'll then I'll be done with the Dandelion Dynasty. And this is, this is a heavy book. So, I mean, I only have five books on my TBR, but they are chonky books. The last one is no exception. It is maybe the chonkiest. No, I think Speaking Bones is a little bit longer or the paper is thinner. It doesn't feel as, Speaking Bones felt heavier. Anyway, the last book is Jade Legacy because I did read, I finally finished Jade War in July. Uh, so it's time 
to conclude the Green Bone Saga. I'm not ready emotionally, mentally, spiritually, intellectually. I, am, I could not be less prepared for this, but I also could not be less excited. Excited is not the word I want because I am also terrified, but like the anticipation, the hype is real. Everyone says this is the best one and the first two books were amazing. So I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm, I could not be less ready, but I am so ready. And those are all the books that I'm for sure, for sure reading in August. And then also, you know, my blog projects and random things and I'm gonna do my own writing. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about what I will be reading, about what you hope to see me read if it wasn't on here. Um, what are you gonna let me know? I post videos on Saturdays, other random times will on these Saturdays so like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined and I'll see you when I see you.